Let's check maybe dynasty map mode. Maybe there's someone else who's Devaloy. Nope. We're the only Devaloy. Us in France. Damn. Ally Russia. I mean, yeah, we could we could use Russia. No, nope, Russia's decided to be hostile to us now. They view us with open hostility due to their ambitions to conquer some or all of our provinces. Which ones? Which which ones do you want? I don't have any of the provinces you say you want. Why are you hostile to me? Doesn't make any sense. Why am I set to hostile? What in the hell? I don't desire anything in their land. Why is it saying that I'm hostile to them? That doesn't make sense. He's in the League War? Well, I'm friendly to him. Russia, we're friends, alright? Just stay friends. Stop being all... pissy. Provence is Devaloy? Hmm. Truth that the Ottomans is up. That means that they might join a coalition. They hate us. And we have enough aggressive expansion. There is already a coalition of Aragon, Portugal, Akinlu, Mamluks. That's kind of a big deal. We should probably prevent that from happening if we can. Can we call France into a war? Distant war, French ruler is malevolent. France is... We have the favors necessary, but he's malevolent and he thinks it's a distant war even though... Even though... Yeah, okay, it's not his rival anymore. Could sack Great Britain. Make him fight Great Britain. Ooh, perfect. If we attack Great Britain, France fights Burgundy. Burgundy's on his border. That could be good. That could be what we need to make France weak. We could declare colonialism and then just go for his colonial stuff. Besides, we have an army right down here in BAFTA. What say is you? What say is chat? Can we, uh, can we excommunicate anyone? We can excommunicate Naples, Provence, Tuscany, Venice. Provence, Naples. Eh. I was kind of really liking the idea of calling for Crusade on Noop and doing that quickly. I mean, I've already shipped an army down there. I think I want to get that done first, but I really like the idea of this. In fact, we could probably do both at the same time. Let's stop privateering Great Britain. I think I have more ships queued up that might accidentally go there. We got four more that need to finish. So maybe we wait for these ships to complete and then we can... We can do it. Apparently the Pope would transfer trade power to me. I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> I mean, why not? Thanks, Pope. Is this multiplayer? No. We're doing a single player achievement run. Our colonist is about to arrive, so let's go ahead and call for a crusade against this fella. And here's the thing that you can kind of use to your advantage, is if you're at war with someone who has no allies and you call a crusade against them, then you can, as long as you're at full maintenance, you can get the effects of call for crusade and then just keep the war going. So you get morale of armies plus 10, national manpower modifier plus 30, prestige, which affects morale of armies, and then use the morale of armies from the crusade against another target. So as soon as our colonist gets here, on the next monthly tick, we're going to get Holy War against this guy because he is adjacent to something that we own and he is the Crusade target and there's Holy War and now we attack him on January 20th using Holy War. We don't even need to keep the city of Bonnie anymore, I don't think. Pretty sure the achievement or like the, uh, the thing will always be there. He even has a mothballed fort. Unfortunately, I didn't time it perfectly and we can't get onto it right away. There's Crusade, so that's cool. We do have a blockade established, plus we've got, you know, great army here. I want more trade power here. I need to pay off my damn loans, though. It's doing 62. We got three years. Okay. There's a lot of different things I want to do. Pope is almost a vassal at this point. Yeah. Colonial enthusiasm. That's pretty convenient.
We need to call the, uh, we need to levy a church tax again. If, if the current Pope were to die right now, we have a 25% chance of retaining control of the Curia. Which is kind of low. Get another general from the nobles. Alfonso de Ayala is not very good. I'm just gonna fire him. It's bad. He's not even good enough to consider using. Knowledge sharing just ended. Let's do... Knowledge sharing to France. He will accept. Awesome. France, give me money for a few months, please. Looks like the Ottomans were in a war, so that's probably why they didn't join the coalition. They're still at war with Crimea. Once his war ends, that'll be when he wants to join the coalition, if he's going to. I imagine, though, if we can get the Mamluks to stop wanting to be part of it, that... The outraged opinion or outraged attitude can't go away unless they have more than 50 opinion, but there's no guarantee that they'll stop being there. Let's get them above 50. Instead of bribing them, we will insult the Ottomans, scornfully so. That gave us... Ah, shoot, he rivaled Great Britain, so all it did is refresh it. I thought it was going to give us the full amount. But that does put him above 53, so he can stop being outraged, then he'll leave the coalition. Sienna, my vassal, would also accept. He would accept what? Yeah, but Sienna's our vassal, and it's not super, super, super clear, but if you knowledge share with a vassal, then you pay the price. Right? Like, if I go to here, by paying 10% of their income each month, growing our oldest, institu oldest established institution, unembraced by them, will be accelerated by one per month in their capital area. We pay for them to get the knowledge. And again, I complained about this a couple days ago, but in the knowledge sharing list, it shows your subjects. It also shows people that already have the institution. It should just be so much better. They should filter out all the shit that's completely irrelevant. Like, again, like if you go to royal marriages, why am I able to offer royal marriages to people who are not in the Catholic religious group and can't possibly ever under any circumstances have a royal marriage with me? Why is Kar Kyunlu in this list? Why is Amerti in this list? Well, Amerti's orthodox. Why is a great horde in this? They're a goddamn horde. Why are republics in this list? How about you know, holy orders? Why are they in this list? How about we get rid of all this shit and just you know not have it in here? No, when they change religion, then they go up, they should just show up in the list. It should only be a list of people that could theoretically do it. Like, I think the most egregious, like, stupidest thing is like, let's say you're playing as a, as a republic and you want to offer trade league status. It lists France. You can only be a member of a trade league if you're a one province minor. Why the fuck is France in the list? You know, like, it's just insane. <laughs> Why do I have the option to excommunicate people who aren't Catholic? Why can I have the option to see where the Ottomans would, would you know, can I, can I, can I excommunicate the Ottomans from the Catholic faith? Well, maybe. You see what I mean? It's it's idiotic. It should not be that complicated to, to filter out the people who are ineligible. I mean, I bet you that takes like two hours, three hours tops. Someone who knows the code knows how to how this list was generated. If I were able to access this shit, I would have fixed it already. It's not difficult. It's it's disappointing that it's that way. Honestly, I'm not salty. I am a little bit. <laughs> we have a lazy colonist. Uh, let's keep on going with Colombia, just so that we can get another guy. We got Sardinians, Catalans, Andalusians, Portuguese. Sardinians are not accepted at all. Um, Catalonians are at least part of our primary culture group, so we have cultural union over them. Aragonese, Portuguese, etc. So we'll export the Sardinians. Goodbye, Sardinians. Like, I think Paradox should either... Either fix this shit, or make it something that is open and available for modding so that the modders can can fix it. Either be lazy and let the modders do it, or fix it themselves. Don't just make it unmoddable and unfixed, you know? We've been rivaled by Russia. Denmark has no air. Denmark's pretty small, but they had conquered quite a bit of Sweden at one point. He is 25. We are currently Curia Controller and we have a relationship slot free. So there's like 
no reason to not um, try to fish for this. On Monarch Death, a just random Danish noble succeeds to the throne. So we will Royal marry him if he'll accept. He's not willing. We'll improve for a little bit. There we go. Mamluks did leave the coalition. I thought you said that this was bugged. Yeah, it's not bugged. No one else has a potential thing. I need to expel all of the Andalusian culture. Oh, sure, I'll do that. I'm just saying, like, my my logic on how I choose which one to expel is based on accepted cultures. Now that we have no other people that are of a different group, we will continue to expel everyone else. It just makes more sense to start with the Sardinians, right? Because our Sardinian, Sardinians are not accepted. So we have tax penalty, missionary penalty, manpower penalty, Sailor's penalty, increased unrest, etc. You know me saying? I think you do. I think you know me saying. We can't lower autonomy while at war. Derp. Can we please have siege? I should have I should have paid attention to the fact that this thing was uh Yeah. I think we'll just take all of his land and then declare another crusade target. Especially while we have this army here. Mossy is, I'm assuming, allied to some people. Okay, Crimea is no longer at war with the Ottomans, which means the Ottomans are at peace, which means they could join the coalition, and they have enough aggressive expansion to, and there is still an active coalition. So they may join with Aragon, Portugal, and Akinlu. I don't think they're strong enough to consider attacking us, though. We have tech advantage. There's really no reason for them to consider it. We counter-rival Russia. Denmark is at war right now. Alright, so that crusade is gone. We can now call for crusade on all these people still. I'm, I'm leaning toward continuing to call for crusade on these guys. So, like, we do the same thing down here in Luongo. He has no allies. We colonize adjacent to him, and then we call for crusade. Let's pull the guy back from... Uh, from here. We're paying a bit... Eh, just a tiny bit of excess colonies. It's fine. Let's do that. Start the colony here. He is really like right on top of my mouse right now, making it very hard to use the mouse. Great Britain's declared warp on Tapuya. Tap Tapuya. All right, so he's going for this region. And trade crisis has expired. Let's get this navy over here. Ottomans did join the coalition. Again, I don't think that they're going to attack us because they'd have to fight France. France has 55 trust with us. They are not rival to the Ottomans, but they, they do like us. Although he is, he has that bad personality trait. He's malevolent. He is 20 reasons. Uh, the AI ruler will, due to malevolent, more likely uh, betray their allies without second thought. Minus 20 reasons. So maybe he does attack me and maybe France betrays the alliance, in which case, obviously, we murder the France because he would deserve it. Colony is complete. Good. In 53 days we get here. Let's go ahead and pre-excommunicate. Uh, not excommunicate. That's the other thing. Come back from Rocco for a sec. All for crusade on this guy. He's currently being sieged down by Kuba. Kuba is this guy. Kuba. It is a... Hey, no, 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 don't walk on the keyboard. What is this? A war with Luongo. It's the Soyan Conquest of Luongo. Hmm. Crap, did I just call for Crusade already? I did. Uba, are you going to full annex him? How are the leagues doing? It seems to me like the... Ooh, Russia joined the Protestant League. So we've got some big boys in there now. We've got Great Britain, Ottomans, and Russia versus my side, but we don't have France. France is still sitting on the edge. Sweden also joined. Nope, that's Munster. Sweden's on our side. We could declare this war just so that we have the Crusade effect. 
Um, I don't care about claim strength on Alfonso. He's probably not going to live. They're too close to similar age. All right, let me update the picture. He's no longer on the thing now. He's decided to move to his friend, his his favorite box. The inbox. Is it worth it to join the League War? We're in the League War, uh, and yes, it is worth it because you get like 0.5 yearly army tradition for like forever just by having joined it, even if you lose, even if you don't participate. Okay, I want to wait and see what this guy does. I honestly don't really want to deal with rebels here, so even though this is trade company stuff, I'm just gonna raise autonomy. Also, we are so good at conversion that perhaps one thing we should micro is we should just convert this stuff before we make it into a trade company, even though there's no you don't have to do it. We just do it for the extra papal influence. You can't convert it after you add it to the trade company, though. And it's very easy to forget and accidentally add them. And we get a Murder the Face emote. Murder the Face. That's probably something I've said in the past, but I can't think of the context for why I would have said it. Okay, we're still working on relations with Denmark. We are at negative 15 reasons for... Uh, I'll pay 69 ducats to influence him. Theoretically trying to get a union over him. Or get him get our dynasty on there. Kingdom of David campaign? You really like murdering people and their faces. Oh. That was probably a while back then. Take it. Damn it. I find it so, sort of odd that we are not getting this yet. Strongest trade power in Sevilla. Sevilla is the highest value trade node in the world. It is definitely up there. What else could possibly be higher? I don't know, I can't think of anything else. What was else, what was at the bottom of the mission? Expand overseas. I should try to finish doing that. Looks like we're about to get our second colonial nation now. So, what would you guys like to call it? I need to get some more coffee, by the way. It's total minus that going. Oh, you're right, 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 because we are losing some of the outgoing. So if the total value is 41 minus 2.74, then we're at 38.26 versus 40. So we're almost there. Makes sense. Ramen cocaine. This is in in uh, Colombia, so we could just say pancakes and coffee. We already have pancakes and rum, so pancakes and coffee makes sense to me. The customization for pancakes and rum had been tasty, because rum is, you know, pancakes with rum would be tasty. What would pancakes and coffee be? And Coke is better? I mean, we could, we'll change it if you guys want, but... Hyper? Ooh, hyper's good. Pancakes and coffee for breakfast would definitely make you hyper. Breakfast, okay, come on guys. Breakfast is not an adjective. Breakfast is like... <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with pancakes and coffee because I kind of like the theme. It's nice. Okay, we have a lazy colonist. Um, I want to get the tenth colony over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more, but I also kind of want to just get five things here so we can do this expand overseas mission for the trade efficiency and global trade modifier for a while before we become Spain. And the easiest way to do that is just to fill in a few more of these these things. Rather than try to conquer land from Kilwa. Wait, Luongo is 100% occupied, so hopefully we get a peace deal here. If he stops being a thing, he is not. We can declare Holy War. Go. We are ahead of time on Miltech by 10 years, and we've got 44 army tradition. I need at least one leader. I'll take two. Let's take two leaders. Who shall lead? This war doesn't feel very holy to you. It's not, but we're going to do it. Gouger! Welcome back, Gouger. How many lasers are you are you equipping these days? <laughs> Gouger 65. You rolled 
12. That's really high. That is really high. Good job. Interesting allocation. It's like you're you're getting ready. You're getting ready for being Spain. You're like, I hear artillery is good. <laughs> Six fire value, please. Zara pot. Again, the same range, of course. Six two thirteen. Three six. Nice shock. Damn, that's good shock value. Uh, total pip count of eight plus eleven places. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like you guys. You're solid. Let's have Gouger um, wander off into the jungle and track down this army. Meanwhile, this became the capital, which means it has no garrison. If we can get there before the end of the month, it will have none garrison. However, it can only recover 70 per month, so it is actually still going to fall after just one month. Because it has less than 100 garrison. So that'll still be an instantaneous capital siege. Hopefully Luongo has no allies. Unfortunately he does, so we can't chain it super easily. The Dongo has allies. We could call for Crusade of Kilwa. He's allied to the Ottomans. Ottomans will defend him. 184 reasons. He's uh, he's pretty interested in defending him. New Emperor. I do want to get some more forts over here. We built one in Gabu. I want one in, in this gold mine. Also, I kind of probably should maybe sort of kind of possibly finally full core it. You know, that's a thing. Any other things that I've forgotten to core? Midja. And these two things down there. We'll do Midja. Of course, now I have no Ebon points for future conquests in Holy Wars, but... Oops. It happens. Okay, so before we do trade company, let's let's convert this thing. It's only gonna take ten months. That's pretty damn fast. Denmark still has no heir. We've got... what chance for royal marriage right now? Any chance? Negative five reasons. We'll keep on improving relations with him. He's pretty weak relative to us, so we could probably send him a gift. I'm willing to do that, sure. Here's 50 ducats. Try not to spend it all in one place. Still have one loan to pay off. 500 ducats, roughly. We could embargo the Ottomans. I should also probably pick my third rival at some point. France, Mamluks, Russia. I don't want to really rival any of these guys. Unfortunately, Russia already rivaled us, so... I'd rather support Russia against the Ottomans, personally, but... Still getting Savoy's vassal? I was thinking about it at one point. Um, I mean, he does have cores. He's in, he's in this node. His cores are all in the node we care about. No estuaries, but... We did max out relations with him. It also strips France of one of his allies. He'd just outright accept vassalization if we, if we wanted it right now. I, I think, yeah, I think we do it. Thank you for reminding me. I need you guys. You, you guys are, you, I need you around in order to guarantee that I don't forget about things. Okay, come on, Gouger, do a good job. Show me that you can roll a nine in the first phase. First fire phase. Be a fire god. Show it. Let's see it. Austria just collapsed. Syria became independent. I already missed it. What'd you roll? Two? Bohemia became the emperor. Interesting. Wasn't Bohemia on this side? Or was Bohemia on our side earlier? So Syria just broke free from Austria. The emperor is weak. The former emperor is weak. Might as well improve relations with the new emperor. He was on Catholic side? Okay. Remember why France owned our lands? Because we were friends with him and we needed their help to fight Aragon and then he kind of stole some land from me. And we're going to engineer his death soon. Luba Kuba. Well, we could just... 
Why don't we just Holy War Soyo? And then we just full conquest him, explore this whole area, and then we'll Holy War Nadongo. Which resets the truce with Lubakuba. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Actually, as part of the peace deal, we could separate peace them to annul the alliance, and then we could have Nadongo with no allies. That could work too. I like it. Call for Crusade. It's time for Crusade. They shall fear us. And we shall keep on fabricating claims on Mr. Morocco, man. Hey, France finally decided to choose a side, and they chose the Catholic side. Congrats. Alright, Soyo. Soyo Nara. Ah! 